I often get asked how I do this, how I stream live, how I record my videos, how I get the chat in the video along the bottom and the topic along the top. Um, although I don't always have these elements in the video, I get asked quite often anyway. So I'm going to try and explain how it all works, how I do it, and hopefully I'll be able to show you some of the apps that I use. So, first of all, um, obviously I record my videos live. That's why the, the quality is so bad. So, please stop telling me about it. That The quality is bad because I do it live. If it, the quality can't go high because my bandwidth can't support any more data transfer at once. So this is the best it's going to be for now. Um, I'll maybe try and move to the new Ustream producer to stream and record videos. But m most of my videos I'm just sitting here talking anyway, so there's not much to see as long as you can hear what I'm saying. So I use Ustream.tv to kind of do all of this and stream um, what I'm doing out over the internet and then I use Ustream to record it straight to the Ustream servers. Um, I might actually look into recording that, recording offline, um, but I'm going to show you how it works um, right now. So I use a, an app called CamTwist to do the chat and the topic and get those in the video. CamTwist is a Mac app, um, it's only available for OS X unfortunately. If you use Windows, um, which most of you actually do, there are some alternatives. If you want a free alternative, um, and it's going to be tricky, but the the options are Minicam from Minicam.com and Web and Super Webcam from Super Webcam.com. I think um, I've heard it's possible to achieve something similar to this using both at the same time, but you'll not get a very good result. Webcam Max, on the other hand, is a better app. It's closer to cam twist you'll be able to do similar things to this but it's not free you'd have to buy it after using the trial that's available back to cam twist for OS 10 it is available for free it's a great app I'm gonna try and show you using cam twist the the app itself and doing this live and connecting to the computer that's doing this over VNC is going to be quite difficult but I'll, I'll try and achieve this so if I take all of that off give me a minute <coughs> zoom into cam twist right there we go so this is the app that I use to take the the kind of video feed from my camera I use a Canon MD205 to stream. It takes that video and it puts all of the, the other stuff in with it, so that's the topic and the chat and the, the other bits of text. And then it pushes it out as like a virtual webcam. So it's separated into various columns here. And hopefully you'll be able to make out what each one is. The first column here is um, just the, the video source. So right now I'm using the Desktop Plus source, which lets me select a specific application window, and it will just show that um, and output that through this kind of virtual webcam, which Ustream can then pick up and broadcast live. Other video sources include obviously the webcam, which is what I usually have selected. Um, slideshows for images. You can show photos from Flickr and you can play movies so if you're not streaming like live video you could play some pre-recorded stuff the second section which I've just highlighted there are all the available effects in cam twist now this is a great software it's unbelievable that it's actually free I wouldn't mind paying money for this app because it comes with some great effects it is quite CPU intensive but I managed to run it on my 1.8 gigahertz Mac mini it's not good for much else while cam twist is running but it does work and the third section there is just all of the effects and 
video sources you've got and then this is the fourth section probably the coolest you can save setups so I just save all of the effects associated with my stream and then I can set up keyboard shortcuts within Cam Twist. I press a few keys and then I can switch back to the stream. Um, if I just demonstrate if I press the numbers, I've set the keyboard shortcuts on my keyboard to be just numbers. So I press number one to cue the webcam, number seven, then eight for the topic in the chat, then zero to cut to those effects. So that's the the app itself. That's how. That's what I use to do this. I've done a tutorial on how I managed to get that. Um, I, the the tutorial is kind of the first few stages. So that topic comes straight from the IRC channel, which you can see below. So it uses a bot that's coded in MIRC. Um, then it uses a lot of scripts, which are on my blog. I've done a video as well to take the topic, turn it into an RSS feed, then upload it using FTP to my website. It's a bit complicated, but it works really well. So hopefully you'll be able to watch down there um, if I just open my IRC client, change the topic to demo. The topic is changed in the chat, then the bot will create the RSS feed upload it to my website using FTP and any minute, it's, it's not instant, but that should update during this video. There, it's up to, in the middle of updating now. There we go, topics changed to demo. So, that RSS feed is on my website now, thanks to all the scripts that I wrote for CamTwist. I'm um, sorry, not CamTwist, for MIRC. CamTwist, if I I switch back to um, the, the Cam Twists application window. If you take a look down here, RSS ticker is one of the effects. I just put in the RSS feed for the topic, um, which is basically just the URL that I end up with after MIRC uploads the, the RSS file and that's just easily put in the top and it automatically updates. Yes, it's a, it's a little bit slow, but it takes 20 seconds, nothing too bad. Then the chat underneath, um, I'll show you that now. If I actually go and switch to Colloquy, here we go take all of the other stuff out. Colloquy is the IRC client that I use. It connects to my channel on Geek, the Geekshade IRC network. You can see everyone um, talking there now. So th there are two ways to do this in CamTwist. Um, I'll, I'll explain both, but this is the way I do it. So this is, this is kind of basically what you see in the video. It's just this. I, I could type and use this as a normal IRC client. I've set up the style so it gives me a nice black background, coloured nicks. This is all done within Colloquy. You could use a different IRC client if you wanted to. Um, MIRC if you're using Windows would do. So then I go to Cam Twist. I select the effect, no, the, the video source, sorry, um, desktop. So I select that. Then I basically just choose a small area of the desktop so this is going to be quite awkward to demonstrate but I just select a resizable section and you can kind of see there it's caught most of it and I can just position it where I want um, I would just basically get it over the video like that um, over the chat sorry a, a bit neater of course and then it cam twist has got some really cool features. I use a chroma keying feature to filter out the background. Um, if I now go back to cam twist. Uh, 
Oh, it's always fun doing things live. Hopefully this will update in a second. There we go. Sorry about the delays. So, I would have the desktop selected. It has to actually be the picture in picture version. And you can set up chroma key. Now, I don't know how well you'll be able to make this out. But just get rid of that. I would turn on chroma keying, select the color black, get rid of the background, and then I put in a colored block make it slightly transparent and you've got that effect that I have where you can slightly see through the chat at the bottom so it's just all done within cam to us basically that's all I need to say about it if you have a Mac and if you use OS 10 hopefully I'll there and get myself back you can easily just mess around with it and learn how to do these things it's cam to us is just an awesome application for live streaming. So that's how I do it. I just use Ustream to take all of that information, all that video that Cam Twist pushes out, broadcasts it live over the internet. Sorry about being an unorganized and <laughs> bad video, but it matches my other videos really. So that's how it works. The other the other way that I was gonna mention of getting the chat in, Cam Twist now has an IRC effect built in which will, you just load it, then give it the IRC details, it will connect to the chat automatically and do it all by itself so you don't need the desktop um, video source and the picture-in-picture -picture effect. It will probably use less, um, might use less CPU that way. Certainly it would <coughs> allow you to be more, have more freedom with your app application windows and your desktop because I need to keep the count with the colloquy window sorry perfectly still if I move it um, like I could demonstrate that right now I see the chat there if I start moving the window then obviously the chat moves and I could just move it completely out of the way to reveal my desktop now I have to try and get it back again <laughs> so that's the disadvantage but I do use my Mac Mini for streaming only, it's a dedicated streaming computer now that I've got my iMac. <coughs> That's how you do it, like I said, webcam Macs, you can do similar things, probably not as good actually, on Windows, Super Webcam and Minicam working together um, might achieve something, but I wouldn't really recommend those apps because they're not the best. They're doing this kind of thing isn't what they were designed for. They were more for using a, a webcam with multiple applications at once. Because usually a, if you have a program using a webcam, no other program would have access to it. Anyway, that's going off on a, a whole different topic. My email address is jake at jakewright.net if you have any other questions about my streaming setup and how I push this video out and get it on YouTube. By the way, to go to YouTube it's really easy. Just download the flash file from Ustream and upload it directly to YouTube. No conversions needed. That's one of the main reasons why I do it live. It's click start to record, record, click stop, download, upload, done. No faffing around with capturing video and converting video and editing video. Much, much quicker. I can do the whole lot in 20 minutes. My website, jakewright.net, is where you'll find my blog, my live stream, of course, what you're seeing right here, and the live chat, which you can see just underneath me there. Thanks for watching.